हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ मैथ्स इन टू मिनट्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन इट इज मैट्रिसेस एंड दीस क्वेश्चंस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज फार एज द गेट नेट एंड सेट एग्जामिनेशंस आर कंसर्न एंड एज वेल एज फॉर द कंप्यूटर एग्जामिनेशन एंड द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फोर क्वेश्चन दैट इज 9 10 11 एंड 12 ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस दी सम क्वेश्चंस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो लेट्स मूव हियर एग्जांपल नंबर 9 इफ ए इज अ ऑर्थोगोनल मैट्रिक्स देन ए इनवर्स इक्वल्स टू वी आर हैविंग द फोर ऑप्शन इज व्हाट ए ए ट्रांसपोज ए स्क्वायर एंड नन ऑफ दिस For this, you should know the definition of the orthogonal matrix. So, matrix A is said to be the orthogonal matrix if A into A transpose equals to it is I. And we know by the definition of the inverse of a matrix, we can write A into A inverse equals to it is I. And if you compare these two quantity, we can say that the if matrix is orthogonal, then that time we can say that the A transpose will be same as it is what A inverse. That is A transpose equals to A inverse. So, option B is correct here. Next question: If d equals to the matrix diagonal d1, d2, d3 up to dn, where di is not equals to zero, so it is given that these diagonal entries are not equals to zero, and it is a diagonal matrix, means non-diagonal entries are all zero, and it is true for all i equals to one to up to n. Then what is d inverse here? Four options are given to us: a, b, c, and d, and here the option b is correct. For the diagonal matrix, whenever we have to find out the inverse, we just take the inverse of these diagonal elements. So we get that is what inverse of a given diagonal matrix. Next question, eleventh one. If A equals to the again diagonal matrix, we are having having the entry d1, d2, d3 up to dn. Then A to the power n is equals to. We are having this four option. Out of this, the option A is correct here. You can verify this option A by considering the any random example for the two by two matrix or maybe a three by three matrix, and you will get this answer. Question number twelve. Match the atoms in column one and two. We are having these entries in column one and two. So a singular matrix means a matrix whose determinant value is zero. So here P matches with three. So we have to identify the which option is correct out of this. So P matches three. We are having the option A and D. Okay. Then later on non-square matrix. For the non-square matrix, the determinant is not defined. So this is true here. So Q matches with one. We can say so Q matches with one here. Here we are having in the option A. And for real symmetric matrix, eigen values are always real, so R matches with a four. And for orthogonal matrix, the determinant is always plus minus one. So we can say that the option A is the correct option. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you get something from it, please like and share the video with your friends, and please do subscribe the channel Mathematics Ganit Sangra. Thank you.